Hi guys, um, so it's uh, Monster Camera here again, and um, uh, I'm going to show you the you know slight performance difference going from GNOME 3 to XFCE. So um, right here, I've got uh, it's an AMD C50 processor and this Acer Aspire One. Get the specs if I can get it to focus. This is a 14 millimeter lens. Um, so it's a dual core C50. One, uh, it's actually four gigs of RAM, and um, I'm not using the 128 gig SSD I put inside. I'm using an external uh, 64 gig SSD. A slight bottleneck through um, USB 2 because this doesn't support USB 3. But um, uh, you know the, the SSD can hit um, was it 300 megabits per, megabytes per second or megabits per second? I think it might be megabytes per second, but whatever. So, forgive the shaky video and the bits out of focus. This is all handheld. Um, I'm gonna cut this video, so it shouldn't be too long. I'm gonna cut the loading, so I'm gonna go um, put my password in. So this is Sabion GNU Linux uh, 10. That's what X stands for. And um, I'm just going to run a simple benchmark, something that anyone can pretty much do. Um, where is it? Where's Chromium? I do like the launcher, I must say. Just hit the super key, type your, sh your stuff in, your stuff in, and um, you should be good to go. So, a bit, a bit bright. Okay, so I'm running uh, Sun Spire now. Man, that focus, focal depth is really shallow. Um, there we go. Amazingly, the iPhone 5 beat it out by a couple of seconds. So, I guess there's more optimization to be done on Chromium, and maybe the desktop as a whole, so it can um, keep up with a dual-core ARM processor. This is x86. There's always more room, I guess. And the notifications on GNOME. I still like them, but I like um, I like the new uh, notification system where it kind of slides the desktop up for GNOME. Uh, GNOME, GNOME, GNOME 3.6, whichever you want to call it. And don't get me wrong, I love GNOME, actually. I just wish that, um, I don't know, it would be better or something. So in a second it should be done and let's check the review out. It's loading. Uh, where is the review screen? There we go, 967. That's actually pretty good for, for you know, I usually get a little bit over a thousand milliseconds. So I'll be right, I'll be right back. Alright, so we're in. Damn it, keep in focus. We're in um, XFCE. So this is cool. Right here. Almost like um, you know, it's hitting the super key, but no, but you can't do that. Maybe you can shortcut it to the super key, but I haven't really tried that. So just launch Chrome and set up Sun Spider. So I think this is the most uh, elegant uh, setup of XFCE. Um, so I kind of disagree with last is, um uh, XFC picks. This should be the top of the list. Some of the cool stuff they had, they added. You know, it looks just really cool. I don't know about it on paper, but it looks really cool. And this is the notification system for XFC. So that's kind of classic, like Ubuntu style. Where well, you can actually click on those. They're kind of they're interactive. So hopefully I don't flop on camera. But if I'm right, this should be at least uh, 20 to 50 milliseconds faster. Showing you that um, just the, the GNOME desktop itself is just eating away a little bit more at the performance of the, uh, the, the netbook as a whole. Come on, 
Let's see if I can get focus properly. It's getting out of focus. All right. This is an EPO one. Oh, so there it is. 933. Uh, so that's about a 30 millisecond difference. Uh, I don't know if you say that's a lot, but this is, you know, this is running inside a, ben, uh, inside a browser and the version numbers change all the time. So just imagine if this were a compiled, you know, C or C++ program. Um, that tiny percentage, uh, that's nearly like a little bit over 1% maybe. Could be, you know, a little bit more, could be 5% uh, difference. I should probably check the amount. But, um, but yeah, that's my bit. Well, that is even 1%, that's less than 1%. Uh, whatever. Peace.